Uh, Jim, would you zip up Kyle's jacket, please? I'm, I'm right in the middle of a very important sandwich. <laughs> All right, come here, my young man. Mommy, do you have this moment space? I do, I do. I have the carrot for his nose, the cookies for his eyes, and what happened to the licorice for his mouth? Thank you. Yes, you may, my love. Thanks. Okay, now remember, get the snow from the driveway, not the lawn. Jim, you can't make the kids shovel the driveway for you. Cheryl, they're a little young to use a snow blower, don't you think? He's right, Cheryl. They lose a finger at this age, they'll always be afraid of machinery. We're so close. Yeah, after running around all the entire city, we've narrowed it down to ten patterns. <gasps> is, it, is a Lindsmore pattern one of them? No, mm -hmm. oh, I'm so jealous! And tomorrow we're spending the entire day looking for a set of flatware. Oh. Hey, Doc, you know what you need a set of? <laughs> yeah, Jim, you've done that joke before, many times. <laughs> Dude, look, I want to show you this article I found on bridal hairstyles. I'm thinking a wavy half up, half down dupe with a tiara. Oh, my, oh my God! to Ryan in the car just now. No way! Yes. Had to turn down the game to listen. <laughs> I found the best cake server. Mother of Pearl Handle from France! Oh, yes! <laughs> Jim, you look like a gun owner. <laughs> Will you please put me out of my misery? Uh, Doc, I'm sorry. I need you alive. You're Dana's ticket out of here. <laughs> I can't take it anymore, all right? I gotta have a break from all the wedding chatter. Oh, Honey. Baby. I need you to clear your Thursday evening. Cheryl set up an appointment for us with Floris. You're welcome! Please. You've got big hands. Just choke the life out of me. You know what? If you want to survive a marriage, you gotta remember one thing. There's always a way out. No matter what the situation, there's always a way out. You just got to look for it. But sometimes... There's I... always a way out. <laughs> and that is my wedding gift to you. <laughs> Don't expect anything else. He's not kidding. For my 30th birthday, he gave me, God never gives you more than you can handle. I traded in for the lemons and lemonade thing. <laughs> Sweetie, look at all these bridal magazines Cheryl got for us. Well, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> you must have gone to a freaking bookstore. <laughs> I did. I did. Okay, and here's our wedding album. It is full of great ideas. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I've been looking at cakes. We have to have fondant icing. Oh. Okay, I wanted to show you this picture. Oh, where is it? Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Here, here we go. Oh, darn. Look, I just got paged. Yeah, I just got paged from the Aww. hospital because I'm a doctor and they page doctors and I just got paged. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put post-its on everything that I like and you can add yours later. Okay. I just hope I don't get paged while I do it. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is the word proof stamped across every photo? Because proof means free. <laughs> hey. I don't pay for memories, I pay for stuff. Uh, uh, look at your wedding dress, it was so perfect. Uh, I know, wasn't it? The mm. lace and the pearls. Remember how it folded up into a bustle in the back? All I remember is it took 45 minutes to get it off you. Yeah. That's nothing. Usually takes me five or six dates. And my fake law degree. Uh, I just hope I can find something this beautiful. You know, it is good luck to wear something borrowed on your wedding day. What do you mean? There's something I've been thinking about, and, and now that you bring it up, I, I am just gonna say it. Why don't you wear my wedding dress? <gasps> oh my God, you would be okay with that? Are you kidding? I would be honored. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna cry. You wanna try it on? Yeah! <laughs> honey, honey, I, I can't work the ladder thingy. Would you go up in the attic and get my dress? Georgia has to do now is run out yes. the clock and a full to chance. Yes! Three, two, one! Yeah. And it's over! The WMO performance in the end of Chicago is first of a round of the year championship. I can't believe it! My God, we're finally champs! My life has meaning! Look, look, all the 
women are kissing everybody. It's like after World War II and I'm a GI. It's a night of miracles. Come here, baby. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, that's okay. It's a numbers game. No, Andy. Oh. I don't think you should... Well, they're obviously not drunk enough. <laughs> Bartender, a couple more beer goggles for the ladies? How about just a couple more beers? Balls! 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 Oh, man, I can't believe this. I get married two weeks ago. The Bulls win the championship. Cheryl is my lucky charm. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I got to take that wedding dress of hers to get preserved. I thought you did that like two weeks ago. Mm. It's still in my trunk. I was going to take it, but I didn't. <laughs> but you told her you did. You think it's okay just to lie to your wife? Ah, relax. It's just this one time. It's not like I'm going to ever do it again. <laughs> the city has gone wild celebrating the Bulls' victory. Look at them! Reports now coming in that riots have broken out. <gasps> oh, look. Some poor guy's car's getting torched. Ah. <laughs> I know the law is just a piece of crap. <laughs> is that outside Stevie B's? <laughs> That's my piece of crap! <laughs> my car is on fire! My body, my Jake videos are in there! Cheryl's wedding dress! Look, Cheryl, you're not the only one excited about this wedding. <laughs> oh, Jim? <laughs> the wedding dress, please. What? Can you get it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> What, now? Yes! Come on, Cheryl. Later. You of all people should know that it's rude to leave the room when you're entertaining a guest. Andy? He's like furniture. Still, Cheryl, it would just be bad manners to leave me here all alone. Andy, can I interest you in sampling a variety of canned cheeses? Oh. I'm not hungry, but I could eat. Have you thought about crab puffs for appetizers? I've thought about nothing else for the last three days. Oh. Oh, there's got to be a way out of this. There's always a way out. We just got to think of something. We? <laughs> oh. No, I was a doe-eyed 19-year-old with a future full of dreams and a pretty serious workout regimen until my tapes went up in flames. <laughs> you were with me. So you are officially an accomplice. Yeah, no way, man. You were the one that was stuck with a burnt dress, then put in a box, and then told your wife it was a perfectly preserved wedding gown. <gasps> oh, what's this? A bill. It's from the piper. <laughs> All right, Andy, you can give up on me You're now. You're not dragging me down with you this time. No way. I'm telling Cheryl. Wait, come here. Come here. Come on. We've kept this lie alive for 14 years. There's no reason to throw it out like you threw out your commitment to fitness. If I had those tapes six minutes a day for 14 years, you know how cut I'd be? Andy, you didn't think there was a way out in 91, but I found it, didn't I? Yeah. Because there's always a way out, Andy. Say it. Say it with me. There's always a way out. Say it again! There's always a way out. That's right, my good friend. So you don't worry about a thing. I got it all figured out. So what's the plan? I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be something to do with Dana not wanting to wear the dress. Or something. <laughs> Great plan. Shall we synchronize our watches, Mr. Bond? Hey, you guys, what's going on? I'm still waiting for you to get that dress out of the attic. <laughs> Come on, Dana. Cheryl's not here. She's dropping the kids off at a play date. Mm. You can drop the act. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, sis. Come on. We all love Cheryl, but uh, she does have her faults. Come on, Dana, let's be honest. 
It's really Cheryl's wedding, isn't it? No, it's my wedding. Right, right. Because when you were a little girl, you dreamt of wearing your sister's hand-me-down on your big day. Mm. You guys just don't get it. There's a big difference between a hand-me-down and passing on a family yes, tradition. Yes, you're right, you're right. You know, a lesser person might think that Cheryl was trying to relive the magic of her own wedding through yours. But, you know. What are you doing? Well, I just thought it might be a little chilly in your world living in your sister's shadow all the time. <laughs> like uh, when you had to wear her old cheerleading outfit in junior high? Or go out with her old boyfriend? I guess Dana can't have anything new. It's a shame, too, because you know what? I think you really deserve it. Hey! Guess what? I stopped by the shop where I got my bridesmaids' dresses and I got fabric samples. Oh! So you're not gonna wear Dana's old bridesmaid dress? Of course not. I'm getting something new. <laughs> Look at this. Is this green beautiful? Oh, what do you think, Dana? Cheryl obviously loves it. Huh? Well, it's nice, but I was thinking more of a lavender. Oh, no, you know, the green is beautiful. Come on, just go with me on this. No. <laughs> well, it's my wedding, and I don't like green. You're wearing green. Well, I don't like this. Okay, whoa, well, well, calm down. Just relax here, Dana. You know what? Everybody would be much happier if you just let Cheryl make all the decisions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's the oldest. She knows best. Cheryl, you've had your wedding, okay? Let me have mine. And, and... And what? And I want to wear my own wedding dress. Okay, wait a minute. I, I, th I thought you loved that dress. Well, I did. In 1991. <laughs> what? Well, it's a little outdated. I'm sorry. I guess I thought you'd get married a decade ago. Well, that's just because I didn't marry the first husky guy in a flannel shirt to come along. Okay. Remember, I am not the enemy. Continue. Okay. I, uh, are you saying that, that I pushed my dress on you? Yeah, just like you're pushing everything on me. Chicken or fish? Chicken or fish? What is with you? Well, I was just trying to help. But you know what? Dress. That is the first suggestion you've made that makes any sense. Well, and it's the last. Thank you. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? Thank you. I, oh. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> you know, Andy, it's like having dinner theater in your own living room. <laughs> What? That was so stupid. I, I, I gotta go talk to well, her. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Dana's right. Dana's right. I, I really, I crossed the line. I pushed my dress on her, and I shouldn't have. She doesn't want your wedding dress. She yeah. wants her own. Oh, just let her get it. Yeah, you did everything you could. You've been a good sister. You made a very touching gesture. But you know what? It, it was too big a gesture. I, I need to pull everything back and offer her something smaller, like, like my veil. Gee, there's something you don't see every day. Yeah! Yeah! I know, I get it. You're excited about the wedding. No. No, no, Cheryl. N now we're just mad. Yes, mad as hell. You can't give her that veil. You're just feeding a monster. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, Cheryl, your sister, Dana, is selfish. Well, Come on, remember how much you liked the name Emily? Then she got that stupid cat and then named it Emily? And now you're stuck with Gracie. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll have another girl. Stay focused, Cheryl. 
Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What about the time that, that she started dating your old boyfriend in high school? Did she even bother to ask you how you felt about that? No. No! No! No, no. no Sharon. Listen, I, I don't want to be the one to influence your thinking, you know? Especially when it comes to family, honey. Right. But you gotta take a stand. You gotta put your foot down, or she's gonna be doing this the rest of your life. And that's a long time, Cheryl, for a person with normal cholesterol. You know, I, I really was just trying to help. Damn right you were, honey. Yeah. She's she's just she's spoiled. Always yeah. has been. You should cut the cord, honey. Yeah, you'd be a fool not to. You think? Cheryl, a man like me doesn't think. <laughs> He knows. You know what? You're right. You're right. You know what? I, I, I wouldn't give her that dress now if she begged me for it. Atta girl. Ah, that's right, baby. You're calling the shots now. Woo! Mission reaccomplished. <laughs> The heel's a little wide, don't you think? Yeah, you get that in a skinny heel and we're good to go. <laughs> okay, okay, now this one, I love the strap on this one, but I'm not 100% sold on the color. Oh, I am, I'm 100%. In fact, I'm like 110% if possible, so let's go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, let's go outside the box. Lilac. Yes, lilac, yeah. wow. You are so outside the box, babe. Yeah. Well, let's get outside the store. No, no, wait, wait, wait. We have to check it against the floor arrangements and the overlays. Okay, now, this is what I'm thinking because I've thought a lot about this, and, and this is a very important to match. <laughs> There's always a way out. There's always a way out. There's always a way out! There is! Something really wrong here. <laughs> Dana, this is a great and joyous time in your life. You should really be spending this time with your sister and not me. You mean my sister who tried to take over the whole wedding? <laughs> Dana, how did you feel when Cheryl was getting married? Well, I was happy. I wanted to help. Yes, exactly. And that's exactly what she wants for you. And her wedding dress was a beautiful symbol of that. You think so? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to say this. <laughs> When you told me about that dress, I almost cried. I guess it was a really amazing gesture. Well, damn straight. Why don't you just put down those lavender shoes and just march yourself right on over to your sister? These are lilac. Yes, they are. And Cheryl wouldn't have made that mistake. Now go! Really? For the love of God, go be with your sister! <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Oh, no time for hugs. Let's go. What did you just tear out of my magazine? Oh, uh, secrets for a successful wedding. Did you know that antique white is the new ivory? Amateur. So, what are you, kissing up to Dana now that I'm out of the picture? You know, she's still not going to let you read your poetry at a wedding. It's for me. It's for my someday file. It's, it's a really great way to keep uh, your goals organized. Until, of course, they're refiled into the one called Pipe Dreams. Hey. Hey. What, what, what brings you by? I'm going with green. Just like you said. But you hate green. But I love you. I love you, too. I'd be honored to wear your wedding dress. <laughs> special moment are you sure you want to wear my dress i wouldn't want to wear any other dress jim seriously right now what what's going on look at this dana and cheryl have made up and now dana wants to wear the dress <laughs> isn't that great isn't it Ryan, help me see how foolish this whole argument was. Oh, oh he did! <laughs> well, good for you, Ryan! Come on, I'm gonna put on some coffee, because I need to talk to you about centerpieces. Oh, and if we have time, can we talk about linens? Well, for linens, I'll make time! Oh. <laughs> what the hell did he do? I took your advice. We're in the store looking at shoes. 
And I'm standing there thinking, you know, I could jab this hill in my eye. Yeah, it'd kill me, but not quick enough. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I heard your voice saying, there's always a way out. There's always a way out. Just the voice or floating head? Floating head. Yeah, I get that. At least once a week. <laughs> well, look, they're going to be in there for hours. I'm going to go catch a movie. Thank you so much. I really... It's just, I, you know, wow. No, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Hey, I got a better idea. Next time, instead of free advice, you might want to give someone a real present. Shut up! <laughs> got to be way out of this. We got to figure out what we need. That's all. What do we need? Or I don't know. Maybe go in, tell Cheryl the truth. The truth? No! <laughs> We need a wedding dress is what we need. So, we got to get a wedding dress. And where do you get a wedding dress? <laughs> I'm serious. Where do you get a wedding dress? <laughs> a bridal shop. A bridal shop. Come on. We're going to a bridal shop, and we are going to get a dress. Tell Cheryl the truth? <laughs> I thought I taught you better. Sorry, floating gym head. <laughs> that? Oh, what do they think we are, animals? Yeah. Well, good thing we got slushies, because technically it's not a food or drink. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably finish them. These dress ladies can get pretty mean. Yeah. Freeze brain, freeze brain. It's brain freeze, you idiot. Hasn't anybody ever told you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody can help me from now. Get rid of it. Hey, watch it. Sorry, man. Oh, dress lady, dress lady. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yes, you can. Um, I'm looking for a uh, wedding dress that looks just like this. I'm um, sorry, we don't have anything like that. Sorry. You sure? I mean, I've been looking all over town. Do you have anything even close? No. Jim, hey, I think I got it. If we take the top from this one, the sleeves from this one, uh -huh. and the bottom from this. <laughs> I think that'll work. Okay, we need it in about five minutes. <laughs> All right, all right, 30 minutes, we can catch a bite. Sir, we don't really sell our gowns in parts. But we could custom make you a gown like your photo. Hey. Cool. What's that run, a couple hundred bucks? Try about $5,000. Uh, I'm a member of AAA. I got it. We got to find a way to break them up. That way there'll be no winning at all. Well, I'll need 48 hours, but I bet I could make Ryan fall in love with me. Hey, where were you guys? Uh, we, we were just driving around talking about our hopes and dreams. Oddly, my dream was coming home and not getting a third degree. I'm sorry, honey, but Dana is waiting to try on the dress. Yes. Can the, you go get it, please? Yeah, the dress, the dress, right, the dress. I'm going to go get it right now. Okay. Just call me Johnny Dress Getter. What are you talking about? You got a box full of ashes. It's over, Dress Getter. We're screwed. We are not screwed. You see, that's the difference between evil genius and a common liar. Now you stand back, watch the master. By the time I get upstairs to that attic, I will have come up with a way to get out of this. Are you with me? Sir, I'd follow you into hell. You knew about this for 14 years and you didn't tell me? You ruined my entire wedding by listening to Jim. And I was gonna let you read your poetry. <laughs> I hate you too, and I'm telling Mom, who also hates you. Follow Jim? Not today! Jim, did you find the dress? Jim! There's no way out. There's no way out. 
Jasper's the way out. Jim, what are you doing out there? can't tell you. Is that my wedding dress? Yes. Can I have it? No. Why? Can't tell you. Is it because you don't want Dana wearing it? Yes. Why? Can't tell you. Is it because it's my dress and it won't be as special if someone else wears it? Yes, that's good. I mean, that's really good that you figured it out without me having to tell you. I had no idea you felt this passionately about this. Well, you didn't ask me. No one ever asked me anything in the house. I'd rather torch this dress and have someone else wear it. Look at me. It's so sweet. I'll tell you what. We are going to put this dress away and never talk about it again. Never ever? Never ever. You know, just when I think I know you, I don't know you. <laughs> I know. Uh, I surprise myself sometimes. There's always a way out. Does it seem awfully bright out here to you? Looks like another sunny day today. Lately, they've all been sunny. Mommy? Yeah? I have a question. Sure. When I get married, can I wear your wedding dress? Aww. <clears throat> Ruby? Come here. <laughs> you know, honey, there's nothing wrong with just living with a guy. Wait a minute. I, I, th I thought you loved that dress. Well, I did. In 1991. <laughs> what? Well, it's a little outdated. I'm sorry. I guess I thought you'd get married a decade ago. <laughs> well, that's just because I didn't marry the first husky guy in a flannel shirt to come along. Okay. Remember, I am not the enemy. Continue. pushed my dress on you? Yeah, just like you're pushing everything on me. Chicken or fish? Chicken or fish? What is with you? Well, I was just trying to help. But you know what? Find your own dress. That is the first suggestion you've made that makes any sense. Well, and it's the last. Thank you. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? Thank you. I, oh. <laughs> Mission. Accomplished. <laughs> you know, Andy, it's like having dinner theater in your own living room. <laughs> it's, it's a really great way to keep uh, your goals organized. Until, of course, they're refiled into the one called Pipe Dreams. <laughs> hey. Hey. What, what, what brings you by? I'm going with green. Just like you said. But you hate green. But I love you. I love you, too. I'd be honored to wear your wedding dress. Jim, you're missing a special moment. Are you sure you want to wear my dress? I wouldn't want to wear any other dress. Jim, seriously, right now! What? What's going on? Look at that.